Okay, a little follow-up to our video here on mathematics being a human endeavor, mathematics being something that human beings do. And remember, we used as our example the relationship between the sequence of odd numbers and the sequence of squares that is given right here. Well, what has happened now is that we've set the stage to demonstrate to our students this rule of four, the idea that a, a topic in mathematics can be presented four different ways. We've done it numerically right here, the next step would be to show them a diagram or a picture, something like this, so they can see the same idea visually. Later on in the course, if we get to sequences and series, we can do it symbolically like this. So here's a nice, compact, uh, symbolic relation, uh, symbolic representation of this relationship. Now, how about the fourth way, doing it in words? Fibonacci did that for us. It's that first paragraph we read to our students from Fibonacci's Book of Squares. Fibonacci does it for us in words. So here we have an idea in mathematics presented four different ways, numerically, visually, in words, and symbolically. So back to this idea of mathematics being a human endeavor, we as math teachers um, are concerned with how our students learn mathematics. And we know now that different people learn mathematics in different ways. Some people are more adaptable to a visual presentation some people more adaptable to a numeric presentation, and some people like to read it in words. So our students learn mathematics in different ways, or they're more adaptable to certain ways of teaching mathematics. So we, as math teachers and human beings, try to present the mathematics in these different ways because we're concerned with how our students learn mathematics. So mathematics truly is a human endeavor.